Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemag TV. In today's WordPress tutorial we're going to be taking a look at another one of Visual Composer's features and that's the ability to create custom CSS and apply that on a page by page or a global basis. It's a very easy way of working with creating slightly customized elements without affecting everything throughout your site and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you show, show you some of the basics of how we can do that, how we can invoke it and how we can apply it to different parts of our page. So let's see how we can do that. So what I've got in front of me is just a simple blank page. I've given it the title and that's pretty much it. So the first thing we're going to do is just add an element that we can target. So let's just add a text block and we'll just fill that with some gibberish text. So let's just edit that. And we'll come in and we'll just change that and put some content in there. So with our basic content, we've now got a typical standard box. But what I can do as we scroll down is we can give this an extra class name. And classes are a way in style sheets to create tags that we can sort of apply different CSS styles to. And it works in a very similar fashion in Visual Composer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a name and we'll just call this PS Text. Now the only thing you need to ensure is that you stay away from using typical HTML keywords like P for paragraph, uh, you know, table and things like that. Because if you do that, you're going to find that you're going to affect things globally. So we need to stay away from that and make every single class name unique. Now the only sort of proviso to that is if you want to assign the same style to multiple different um, elements throughout your site, you can use the same, same uh, class name. That means then you can target that once with the CSS. Okay, so we've given it a unique class name. Because it's a class, everything has to start with a period or a full stop sign. So we'll just say save the changes to that. So we've now given that uh, a CSS class that we can now target with our custom CSS. So if we take a look in the top right hand corner of the Visual Composer, you can see we've got this little cog icon. We can click on that and then we can create custom CSS. As the title suggests, this is only limited to this particular page. It's not going to apply globally. If you want to do that, it's a slightly different way of working. But it's very, very straightforward. So use the period. We put our class name in. And with everything to do with CSS, we just open it with the curly brackets. Press the enter, and it automatically puts in the second set of curly brackets for us. Also tells us that we've got a little exclamation warning mark here telling us that currently this rule is empty. Now, this is a great little feature in Visual Composer because it allows you to check your CSS so it'll give you any syntax errors or any other things that it, it flags up as being a problem. So we've got that there. So it's a nice little sort of fully featured, should we say, uh, CSS composer. So what can I do to this? Well, I can do lots of things. I could just say I wanted color red. Set my changes to that. And as you can see now, it tells us we've got CSS, we've got a custom style or styles associated with this particular instance of Visual Composer that applies to this particular page. And we can click and open that up and see any of the CSS we previously created. So we've created uh, a class name. We've applied a custom style to that class name. So if I publish, publish this page, we can go and take a little look at what that looks like you can see that now our custom CSS has been applied to this particular block of text. So if we come back in and I just create another block of text, and we'll just leave that with the default information in there, save the changes, update that, and then we switch back over to our site and refresh the page on there. What you now see is that second block of text is left styled exactly as you'd expect it to be in the default color. So what we've done is we've assigned a specific identifier to this particular text block. And then we've targeted that through CSS to tell it how we want to style something. The second box hasn't had that custom class applied to it, so therefore it won't pick up that custom class. So if we just come in and edit this second block of text, and we go to the extra class name and we give it the same name, save the changes and update our page. We'll find then when we switch back to the main site, refresh the page, we'll see that that custom class has now been applied to that second block of text, and therefore it picks up the custom class, custom styling that we've just given it. So there we go. Our second block of text now is considered in red. Problem with that is, if we now go in there and we say, let's just edit that and put a heading in there, 
and we'll just and we'll style that with heading three save our changes update that what we find now is that that has also picked up the red color which isn't necessarily what we would want to do so there we go everything now is styled in red okay so let's say we can be a little bit more specific with how we do this we've just generically said right all the text in there is going to be a specific color so let's come in now and target just this header and specify how we want that to be styled so expand our custom CSS block and we're just going to put in this little block of code so what this does is it targets the custom class that we've given it which is PS text and specifies exactly which element we want to style, in this case the heading 3, which is the heading that's in there. So we save the changes on that, update that, and then when we go back to the main site, we'll find that that heading 3 has now been styled in a different colour, in this instance black. So as you can see now, heading 3 is coloured independently of the text blocks, all these paragraphs. So that's pretty good. But that means you've got to do that on every single page that you want to apply that particular custom style to, which isn't necessarily the most efficient way of working. So what we can do is, if we switch over to the Visual Composer on the left-hand side and come down to Custom CSS, we can create our own custom classes that will apply to any instance of the Visual Composer that we're using on a page, as long as we reference that particular uh, custom CSS uh, tag. So like we've used the PS text, we can do that exactly the same in this. So we can say PS text, open our curly braces up, put color red, and save that. And that's now become a CSS class that's applicable throughout all of our Visual Composer pages. So whenever we create a new text block and we give that the custom class of PS text, the color of the text will automatically be set to red. So that's a way you can do it on a global basis as opposed to an individual page basis, and then you can target that throughout your entire site wherever you want to reference that specific custom class, then you can apply that custom style to it. I hope you found this little tutorial useful on the basics of custom CSS inside Visual Composer. If you have, please hit the subscribe button below, hit the like button, it all helps. Spread the word, any feedback or comments or any tutorials you'd like to see in the future, please pop your comments in this comment section below and we can take a look at creating video tutorials and guides for you. Until next time, take care.